Alright YouTubers, welcome back to World of Warships with the Angry Nerd. And today I thought we would do a release review and giveaway of the Japanese Tier 7 Premium Destroyer, the Udachi. Now the Udachi is a Suratsu class destroyer. So we will be using the regular Tech Tree Tier 7 Suratsu for a little comparison of the two today. But we're going to take a quick look at the modifications, the upgrades, ammunition and consumables, and the ship's captain that I have assigned to it, or will assign to it, as all those will affect the stats to come. We're also going to take a quick look at my personal performance in this ship overall before we get into the gameplay. So let's get right into it. Modules. Modifications. The ship is a premium ship, so it does come fully modified. Upgrades. You get four slots. First slot, I took main armaments modification. Second slot, I took damage control system. Third slot, aiming system modification. And fourth slot, I took propulsion modification. Ammunition and consumables. You get four slots. There's not a choice of what uh, consumable to take in each slot except for the basic and premium. Slot number one, damage control party. Slot number two, smoke generator. Slot number three, engine boost. Slot number four, torpedo, torpedo reload booster. Exterior. This ship does come with the Type 10 Premium Yudachi Camouflage that you see here, and I do have that mounted. Signals, I have these signals on. I pulled off Sierra Mike so that it wouldn't affect the basic stats uh, during this portion of the video. Flags. You do get a Yudachi commemorative flag to go on the ship. And I'm also flying the community contributors flag. So, let's take a quick look at the ship's basic stats as it sits with no commander assigned. Survivability, 13,200 hit points. Artillery, you get five 127 millimeters as the main armament. Two turrets have two guns, and you have this one turret which uh, is facing to the front on the back here, and it, it gets a little hard to use. Sometimes uh, these turret rotation is pretty slow. The reload time is nine seconds. Turret traverse time is 30 seconds. Maximum HE shell damage is 2,100. Maximum AP shell damage is 2,200. The firing range is 11.8 kilometers. So keep that reload of 9 seconds in mind when we get ready to compare that to the Suratsu. Torpedoes. You get two launchers. Uh, each launcher has four tubes. They're 610 millimeters. They fire out to 15 kilometers at a speed of 57 knots. Now they have a torpedo detectability range of 1.9 kilometers, which makes them really easy to dodge, especially since they're only going at 57 knots. AA defense is non-existent, so we're not going to worry about that. Maneuverability. Maximum speed, 34 knots. That is without the Sierra Mike flag. Turning circle radius, 570 meters. With a rudder shift time of 3.2 seconds. Concealment, detectability range by sea, 6.8 kilometers. And by air, 3 kilometers. So let's open up these and do a little quick comparison to the Suratsu. The Rats Suratsu has the same basic layout, same guns, reload time 7.5 seconds. So even when we put our commander 
on there with his skills, we are still not going to get below eight seconds. So the Suratsu has a much better uh, gun system than the Udachi. Torpedoes. The reload time on the Suratsu's torpedoes, 94 seconds. They fire out to a range of 10 kilometers. They run at a base speed of 59 knots and they're only detectable to 1.5 kilometers versus the 1.9 kilometers of the Udachi. Detectability by sea, 6.5 kilometers and by air, 2.8. So you can see just in the base stats, the Suratsu, I think, is a better destroyer than the Udachi. Now, let's assign a commander and see how that affects the ship stats. Where from the reserve? Here we go. Now, this is a 19 point commander, and this is how I have his points distributed. I took two tier one skills, priority target and preventive maintenance. I took two tier two skills, I took torpedo acceleration. It did reduce the range of the torpedo to 12 kilometers, but it increased that speed a little bit. Um, I took last stand as well. I took three tier three skills. Torpedo Armament Expertise, Basic Firing Training to try to reduce the reload, and uh, Superintendent to get another uh, Torpedo Reload Booster as well as a smoke. You need that smoke to hide a lot of times. Tier 4, I took Concealment. I did not go for Advanced Firing Training because uh, the trajectory of the shells I was finding it a little bit difficult to hit targets at the range that it was already, so I didn't feel this would be useful to me. Now, let's take a look at the ship's stats with the captain assigned. Also, um, let's hop up here and put on Sierra Mike. Okay. So, Concealment is down to 6.1. You are still going to get outspotted by several destroyers. And if you get up tiered, right, there are some higher tier destroyers that have better concealment and better gun systems than you. And if you run into them with no support, um, yeah, they will eat you for lunch. Detectability by air, 2.7 kilometers. Maneuverability, max speed, 35.7 knots. Torpedoes, uh, they now fire out to a range of 12 kilometers at a speed of 62 knots. They still have the 1.9 kilometer detection range, so they still are pretty easy to dodge. Artillery. The reload time on the artillery is down to 8.1. So the Suratsu's base uh, reload time is better than I can get down uh, with my captain skills. So let's take a look at my personal um, performance with this ship. We do have Yudachi selected here. I have played 42 battles with a 60% win rate. Um, most ships destroyed in a single battle was four. That will be the game that we're gonna take a look at shortly. My average results per battle, warships destroyed, 1.1. Damage to ships, 34,316. XP, 1,600. 74. My maximum most per battle warships destroyed 4. Um, 
maximum damage to ships 105,000 so 42 battles 25 victories 17 defeats and destroyed 47 ships in the 42 battles so yeah that is what my personal stats look like in the Udachi why don't we take a look at that four kill game and uh, maybe it will help you decide whether this is a ship for you here we go okay two brothers let's compare ships we're doing all right there Gepard I don't want to run into him or the Mayhan these are teammates but still good to look at the comparison we do have uh, enemy aircraft carrier so I need to be aware of that oh here we go again let me see if I can get this DD to work this time so I've probably got 30 plus games in the Udachi so far and I just really can't seem to make it work I mean I'm surviving I guess but I don't feel like I'm really contributing all that much um, to the team I haven't had like a really good breakout game in this ship I really am struggling you run into other destroyers who are faster than you um, who have better guns than you do who have better concealment than you do and if they want to chase you down and kill you they will and there's pretty much nothing that you can do about it this ship seems to be designed as a long-range torpedo boat but the torpedoes are so slow and the torpedo detection is so large that it's really not even effective at that so I'm struggling to find out exactly where this ship is supposed to fit in what is its niche now the enemy CV is already causing problems for me he's dropped a fighter consumable around that island which means I can't go over there without being detected and he still got his rocket planes flying around so I have to watch out for them maybe I can thread the needle between the fighter and the rocket planes I really don't want to be detected uh, okay the rocket planes are dead the fighter consumable is still up there's a Gepard at least I have friendly agile over here or agile I don't know how to pronounce that he's already taking fire got at least seven enemy ships over on this side and we're running at 35.8 knots right now okay the Mayhan enemy Mayhan is smoking up it doesn't look like he's slowing now I'm detected speed boosting trying to throw off any attack that might be coming toward me inadvertently help me dodge those shells wow Yeah, this is why I didn't want to get spotted. All right, we managed to get through that unscathed, but I haven't done anything yet. 
but we do have cruiser not sure which way he's going I'm going to try to put some in case he comes on this side of the island and the second set will go between the gap of the island now, I'm not going to use my reload booster just yet unless something obvious pops up look how slow those torps are oh here come rocket planes and he dropped the fighter consumable so back over there. Start a dodge here. Enemy torps. Rocket planes coming in again. Oh, I didn't dodge those, but it didn't do a lot of damage. You're lucky. kill this ship. Use my gun. Oh, never mind. We do have a New York pushing over this way, so maybe I can come up here and do a torpedo attack on the New York. Oh, that's the Congo I'm locked on to. Which way is he going? Oh, he's going away from me. about this New York. Drop those. Drop those. Use our reload booster and see if we can drop some more. So went after the sign up just in case he came this way. Just to try to spread the love. Am I gonna get something? Maybe. Oh wow. Excellent. Oh it looks like the eastern side of the map has collapsed. We've got one battleship over there. Gneisenau. He's fighting an Omaha and a destroyer and being attacked by planes. I'm going to start heading over to that side of the map. Even with speed boost, active, right? I'm only running 34, 35, 
and if you turn any it just drops your speed so much perfectly straight line I'm up to 38 38.5 looks like a maximum just touch the rudder a tad and the speed just bleeds off so in a destroyer your maneuverability is key to life sometimes and you maneuver in this ship and it just bleeds your speed so much it always makes you feel like you're going really really slow but the Gneisenau is dead eastern flank is defended only by the carrier who is in peril it looks like the western flank is doing okay we've got control of that a cap so let's see what i can do over here This guy should be a one-shot kill. Well, he was a one-bomb kill. At least it didn't give my position away. I'm worried about that mayhem. See if I can catch him with some corpse if he doesn't know I'm coming. frame loss again drop down to like 20 I'm gonna have to use guns. I know I'm opening myself up to fire from him and the Omaha, but Drop some smoke. Okay, the Omaha. I would like to be able to turn around, get in my smoke, and pepper him with some shells, but I'm going to need the CV to continue to spot him for me to be able to do that. If I was better at typing, I might be able to convey my thoughts in chat, but I'm not. I have to hunt and pick. Hopefully, he'll notice what I want. Omaha does have torpedoes. Good. Now I can get over and try to recapture D. But we do have the rocket attack aircraft coming in. Here's my speed boost. I think they're coming around for an attack run. I'm asking for AA support. 
He's the man. He dropped me. Fighter bubble. Woo! Bombers coming in. Wait, what happened to our team? What the hell? Alright, I'm gonna get in here and hide in some smoke. The western flank collapsed. It's just me and the carrier. Oh, yeah. Oh, dang it. I wasn't paying attention. I stuck my nose out. And I paid for it. We got decap, but we got a bunch of enemy ships pushing C. Looks like the two battleships and the destroyer. I got my reload booster available. But we got enemy aircraft coming in. They're going to spot me. I have three ships shooting at me. I'm thinking this is a lost cause. All right, here's the Congo. Drop corpse. Drop corpse. Reload booster. Oh, we got hit by bombs. Drop more torques. Dang it, man. Ten seconds and I can have smoke screen back up. Oh. That dang ranger, man. Hey, consolation prize. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, there's some damage on the way out. So we ended up with four ships destroyed. We got the carriers 
down here, ready to go at each other. Let's go have a look and see what they're up to. Let's come down here to the actual surface ship. All right. They're offering to ram each other. And a teammate wants to have a secondary fight, but it looks like they're going to ram. Okay, it's a cat fight. There we go. Game over. All right, let's take a look at what we did. Oh, 325,000 credits, 3,700 XP with 206 free XP. We did get a devastating strike and it's just a flesh wound. 68,000 credits, 13 target hits, 7 torpedo hits, 2 aircraft shot down, 2 incapacitations, 4 ships destroyed, caused flooding 4 times, defended the base once, captured 1, and spotted 1. Let's take a look at the team score. Came in second place on the team. Let's take a look at the detailed report. 34,700 damage on the New York. 9,743 on the Congo. 7,445 on the Mahan. 4,392 on the Omaha, that accounted for the four kills, and then 12,000 on the Sun Up, and shot the two Ranger planes down. That is my best game to date. So what do I think of the Udachi here in World of Warships? Well, to tell you the truth, I really don't like it all that much. I think this boat lacks an identity. It's not a gunboat. The weapon's reload is too long. The boat itself is too slow. The concealment is not good enough. So it's definitely not the gunboat roll. That leaves the torpedo boat roll. But it's not really good at that either. It does have long range torpedoes, but they're very slow and they can be detected from almost two kilometers away, which gives people pretty good amount of time to dodge your torps. So ixnay on the torpedo boat roll. So I personally won't be recommending anyone to purchase this boat, but if you would like a chance to win one, let me tell you how. To be eligible for the giveaway, you must be a subscriber to my channel and your subscriptions must be public so that I can verify your subscriber status. Two, you must leave your in-game name and the server you play on in the comments section of this video. An example is on the screen. Three, you also need to hit that like button. Winner notifications. The winner will receive a response to their comment, notifying them that they were selected. If selected, you will need to reply to that notification within 48 hours or I will select another winner. So make sure that your YouTube notifications are set up so that you get notifications when someone leaves a reply on your comment. Last but not least, when the contest is complete, I will pin a contest complete comment to the top of the comments on this video with the date of the drawing and the winner's name. No other notifications will be given. If you've liked this video on the Udachi, hit that like button. If you didn't, don't. Subscribe if you would. 
But as always, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Nerd out.